Welcome back tubers, it's time for a little bit of a quick video. Now yesterday morning I was starting the process of trying to work out how to do the video for this weekend for the mini spot micro spot welder and I come across a small problem. I was inserting and taking this out trying to get a nice smooth way of pulling it apart and stuff so I didn't look like a douche on video. In the process of pulling this out of the case, uh, it goes that way I believe, it goes that way I think. Um, I yanked too hard on this somehow, um, and I think I turned it around. I didn't see it or something. I don't know. I don't know how I did it, but I turned it around. I pulled it, and this here pulled back over onto the charger, the, the, the battery charger, but underneath it, there's a little heat sink there that you can see on top of the DC to DC converter. I knocked that off the board, and as a result, uh, I went back to doing some computer work. I had the charger on it. I had it all set up ready to do the video and I must have left it for quite some time. It was turned off, but the battery was charging. So I don't, I don't know what happened, but as soon as I turned it on I, and it wasn't in the, it was outside of the case like this. As soon as I turned it on, it smoked. And I dare say it was because the, it wasn't the right cooling or something. I don't know the electrical term for it, but I blew it up. At the end of the day, it, this is was not the, the spot welder's fault. However, I have reached out to Julian. I've given him my feedback on that, uh, which is limited to I screwed up pulling it apart. But th he's also told me they've done um, a few upgrades. One of them is reverse polarity um, detection on the actual cell. Yeah, so unfortunately, I don't have a video for you anymore. It's unfortunate that I blew it up, but I guess you do that sometimes with you doing these videos and stuff. I had a plan of actually doing a heap of videos. I had a plan of actually putting on a bigger battery and apparently you can put the bigger battery on. You don't have to use the super capacitor. You can throw it into the end somehow. Um, I haven't looked into that. They just said you can put it in there and you can just spot weld away until it gets too hot to hold and then you give it a break and then you keep going again. So there's no recovery time from the little 18650 battery. Um, also, the 18650 battery that was in there is just an INR 18650-15M. Um, I was going to... So that's a 1500 milliamp hour. These are 3000 milliamp hour. And much better cells, LGs. So I was going to throw them in there and do a couple welds as well, or as many welds as I could on one charge. And see if the recovery time was any quicker on that. So far, but I've only done about 50 welds so far. Um, I've had a chance to run this through a couple of times. Uh, I think... I really like that, but it's it's kind of awkward to use. But I still love the concept of that. That's got a that's got some potential as well. But anyway, YouTube, that is just an update on this spot welder. I'm working as hard as I can to get another one here as quick as possible. Um, I really do like the concept of this. I love my K weld, but I think this has its purpose, especially for the smaller builds and stuff like that. I run and really test it as much as I can and put it out there. I do have a lot of spot welding to actually do. I've got a couple of batteries I have to redo there from my bigger build. So I can really put it through its paces. But anyway, tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you don't all bash me too bad for breaking this, but it's a reality what happens. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.